all right you guys so first things first this haircut was definitely a challenge for me okay this was a challenge this was not easy i need to brush up on my you know um my shear work skills okay so i will be doing that soon i know i've been saying it i've gotten a lot better like if you guys have seen my process of doing shear work or, or watch me for a long time you'll see i gotten a lot better so what my client wanted was a burst fade on the side kind of a messy top into like a, a short mullet so usually a regular mullet would go like kind of down the neck kind of um so he wanted it messy on the front he wanted it out of his eyebrows like he he wanted the hair to stop just above his eyebrows and then he wants a lot of the weight off the back so what i'm going to do is i'm going to try my hardest to get this client what he wanted and this client was very satisfied he, he told me he liked it when he was there and then when he got home he texted me again and was like bro this is exactly what it want what i wanted i appreciate it um he had a complaint that people usually would cut way too much off when doing this haircut so he didn't get a cut for a long time um but yeah so basically i gave the client exactly what he wanted but me being me i'm very hard on myself when it comes to cutting hair i feel like everything has to be perfect everything has to be good especially because i make content as well so it's just something that i deal with personally um but knowing what i know now about she work just watching this it just it gets on my nerves <laughs> so it's like it's like my process of sheer work on this haircut would have been way different like because i feel like i learned as i go um but not now i know that this is not right okay this is this is not how i would do sheer work um so right now what i'm basically trying to do in the video is just make the top blend into the sides because he doesn't really want bulk like that on the sides above this burst fade so what we are going to do is try our hardest to use this shear work to take some of that bulk off the side and then we're going to work our way to the back and take off a bunch of length um off the back of his head because that is something that he did want after we do that we're going to jump into the fade part of the haircut and that is one of my specialties so that part was not hard it's just the shear work which we will get better at i promise you that after doing that we're gonna blow dry his hair and style it afterwards so he like i said before he's going for a messy look so before i go and style it at the end of the cut i'm gonna try to do this burst fade blend and get it to blend as much as possible um but we're not fully blow drying it because i want it to be a little bit damp just so when we put the product in the product will apply better and last longer so right here i did um, the first guideline but I forgot to record it I thought it was recording and then I looked back and it wasn't so you see me just tracing over right now just to show you guys what I did but I'm doing my first guideline the same exact shape that I set the ball guideline 
After that, I'm going to move up to the next guard, which is the one guard open, and repeat the same steps. After that, I'm going to use my two guard, and then I'm going to try to blend it in as much as I can with the clipper over comb and uh, thinning shear over comb. And then after that, we're going to blend our way back down after trying to <coughs> keep this whole shape that we're trying to do. Excuse me, guys. It's, it's, it's still cold in Buffalo, bro. <laughs> I don't mean to be just, just coughing in y'all ear. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I would just clear my throat. But, um, and yeah, I just bought a new mic. So let me know what you guys think about the mic and how it sounds. But, yeah, so we're going to try our best to get this blend as good as possible. One thing I like to tell beginner barbers, I always say to find something you're good at, master it, and then move on to the next thing. So I feel like for the most part, I've mastered blending and crispy lineups like i feel like i got really good with crispy lineups really good with fades it's just now i need to work on my styling and my sheer work so once i get really good with that i think i'll be you know one of the one of the top tier barbers i can say um a lot of you guys might be like hey you're already nice what you talking about i'm like bruh i'm nice compared to you know like average barbers i would say but like Compared to the people that I know and hang out with, like these guys are way in a different league than me. You know what I'm saying? You hear that saying a lot when people be like, hang around people you want to be like, or hang around people that's gonna that's doing better in life than you, or hang around people you know that's that's where you want to be in life. And that's basically what I've been on lately. You know what I'm saying? By putting out this content and being a good person and you know just 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 capitalizing on the people that you know and the relationships that i built um i've been fortunate enough to be around these people so when i'm around these people i just you know i feel like i feel the need that i have to constantly better myself and uh i think that's a good thing that's a good thing to have that's a good thing to want is to be better so you guys surround yourself around where you want to be and eventually you're going to be better because it's kind of impossible to be around like five like let's just say you're around five millionaires all the time it's kind of impossible for you not to be a millionaire eventually you know what i'm saying so it's like yeah you guys get what i'm saying okay so right now i'm just trying to blend in this book as much as i can and uh you guys will see me i'm going to start to fade down and get this blend all the way together and then we're going to go into the other side and then do some texture
So now we're gonna start texturizing his hair. First thing I'm gonna do is get it a little damp just so the product can stay and stick a little longer and um, it applies easier when it's a little damp. So I'm gonna use the 245 uh, matte clay and the 245 texturizing powder. Now using those products together works like magic. Everybody I see that is with 245 or associated in any way, they usually use both and not just one. So obviously I'm gonna watch the people that created the product and use it how they use it. Um, there's no specific way he wanted this style, just basically messy. So it was a specific look that I had in my head and it's just a messy look. And that it came out perfect, like he said, it's exactly how he wanted it. So the main goal is to just give the client exactly what they want. Don't worry about what people on Instagram or social media are talking about. As long as your client is happy, as long as you get that money from them. Not to say to cut hair is strictly for money, but I'm saying as long as they pay for a specific service, you did your job.
Yeah, it's almost like Paul's thought of that. The face. Yeah, it's fine. Red eyebrows, right? Really yeah, no. They always take like way too much off in the front, and it's like, yeah. Cause now, I got a fucking big ass through, forehead. You can mm. do with the link in the yeah, description no, no, box no, below. So if you're weird. thinking about getting yeah, healthier and perhaps saving yeah. money yeah. because you buy so much plastic, yeah, they're just enough so it can flare out. Yeah, it's way shorter. With the link in the description box below, and.